Your boy Davidoff. This episode of Premier League Recap will be a bit different. Um, I'm going to like do it like game by game. Actually, no. For Tuesday's game by game, I'm watching the lunchtime kick off now. It's nearly over. Leicester are winning 1 0 at Everton. This is, if they hold on, which is there's a minute left for stoppage time, if they hold on, that's a really good away win. Like a really good away win for Leicester. Everton, they've had, they've had a bad day. Uh, they're, they're in terrible form. Um, they need to improve. ASAP and it is January now so signings can happen but yeah as for Leicester it's a massive win for them uh, especially after they lost to Cardiff as well so uh, yeah um, that's my recap of this game basically the Arsenal game is next I'm going to try and find a stream to watch it on and uh, yeah and well I should find one I should find a good one then after that I've got Sky Sports and the 530 game I think it's Spurs that run I watched that as well. I got I got a week free, might as well make most of it. And on Wednesday, um, United are on Sky Sports. So I watched that game as well. And uh, yeah, I'll tell you my thoughts after the game, I guess. And then uh, Man City v Liverpool, I'll do a separate video for. So this recap won't include Man City v Liverpool. I'm going to do a separate video for that's probably a live reaction in a way. Not going to have the camera out the whole time, but we'll get it out for key moments. But granted, I think it's coming as well for that game too, so... Yeah, I don't know if he is for definite, but that should be fun. So yeah, th this week of recap is going to be a bit different. I said this week, there's been like three this week. But anyway, um, the last minute stoppage time is the stoppage time is uh, is finished. Where's the final whistle? Goodison is half empty now. The fans are fed up. Imagine they score now. No, they won't. It's cleared. Where's the whistle, ref? Where's the whistle? Yeah, I think it's I think it's gonna be over in a second. It's gonna be over. Uh, this is a big away win for Leicester. A good away win. Very good away win. You see the table after this as well. And it's not ending. <laughs> it, it's been almost. Oh, there we go. There we go, ref. Not happy near for, for Everton fans. Judging by those boos, obviously, and the result. There we go. I sound a bit weird because I just woke up. No, I didn't just. I mean, I woke up for kickoff, and I watched the game. And uh, even though it's been 90 minutes, I'm still a bit tired. But yeah, the, on the counter though, that body finish, decisive goal, really good finish, good counter. Jamie Vardy's having a party. Yep, good, great meme. Anyway, <laughs> instead of sounding miserable, let me just go and uh, try and find uh, a way to watch the Arsenal game. So the Arsenal game is over now. Uh, we won 4-1, which is a pretty good win. Um, I'm happy with that. I'm happy that we that we responded with a nice 4-1 win. Makes up a little bit of a goal difference as well, because uh, we did get embarrassed a few days ago. But yeah, I'll take a 4-1. Uh, we didn't play that well in the first half. In the first half, it was frustrating to watch. Honestly, very frustrating. Even part of the second half, really. Um, but yeah, we scored We scored in the first half, went 1-0 up, and that was nice. He will be played really well in this game, by the way. Um, then we scored a second goal, uh, Lacazette finished it off, pretty good finish, um, and, and then Fulham scored, it was very poor defending, very poor defending from Koscielny and Torreira, Torreira's not been in good form, like I felt like starting him, not starting him was the right decision, because I felt he was, he's a bit like, he's played too many games at the moment, um, so I think that's affected him in a way, but he, didn't, he hasn't played well in the, in the last few games, so hopefully that changes very soon. Um, but yeah, he was partly at fault for that goal. So so was, so was Koscielny. Um But then, but then we got a then we got our third and fourth goals. We finished the game off. And I'm happy. We won four one. It's pretty good. And uh, yeah, we got no league game now until the twelfth, I think. So got a break. Got the FA Cup though coming up. Hopefully we do well because the FA Cup might be our best chance of a trophy this season. I said that about the League Cup, but the, the FA Cup right now is the best chance of a trophy, and I'd like to win something. So. Hopefully we do well in the FA Cup, so hopefully on Saturday we win our game against Blackpool and hopefully we go through. Um, yeah, as for the league, we got Chelsea soon, so good luck to us. I just hope we can uh, actually beat them because if you want to make top four, uh, we probably have to beat them to be honest. I know, I know it's really early, but still, 
we just keep we, we've, we've slipped away quite a lot recent weeks in, in in December really as a whole but yeah we started off the new year well we started off New Year's Day we will win happy of that by the way I'm watching Spurs Son is not through on goal it's been 10 minutes uh, it's, it's one nil to Spurs they scored in the second minute so quick Cardiff are really poor really poor defensively they're on the attack now though no okay well I'm gonna watch this game because I got Sky Sports free for a week I said that already like 10 times but might as well just watch every game that's on because I don't have Sky Sports usually so anyway yeah um, I'll turn my thoughts in this game I guess later on all right so Spurs won that 3-0 all the goals came in the first half uh, they were dominant much better Cardiff really poor they're really poor this game was a mixture of Tottenham being good and Cardiff being poor I predicted in my predictions video I said a draw for this game and I just feel like an idiot now because I saw that Wolves beat them and I thought maybe that might you know change momentum but then again it's Cardiff should have thought about that when I predicted that but yeah there we go uh, Cardiff I think well it's not just on this game but based on the season in general I think they'll probably go down that's just the way I'm looking at it they just don't seem good enough to be in this league so maybe I'm wrong maybe they proved me wrong but it doesn't it doesn't look like they'll stay in the league at this rate we'll see though uh, as for Tottenham it's a good win for them they'll, they'll at least make the top four for sure they'll probably make, they'll probably finish third at least um, I don't think they'll win the title I don't see them winning the title um, because they will, they will, they will lose more games. They've already lost five. I think they will lose more games. I just don't see them losing the title. They're, they're losing. I don't see them winning the title. So yeah, but they'll get third at least. And uh, yeah, um, it's a good win for them. It's a good win. So yeah, uh, roll on Wednesday then, because on Wednesday the United game um, is on TV. I'm gonna watch that, and then there's five other games I think tomorrow. Well, it's not tomorrow. For me, it's for me. It's tomorrow is Wednesday. Um, there's five other games. I'll probably watch match the day afterwards, after the United game. Then tell you my thoughts on all of, all the games from Wednesday. Then that'll be that'll be another video. Then for the for the tenth game, City vs Liverpool, that'll be a separate video, um, like a vlog style video, I guess, like this really. So uh, yeah, roll on Wednesday. All right, so it's just finished at St James's Park between Newcastle and Man United. It's finished Newcastle nil, Man United two. Uh, for United, for obviously Newcastle, not Newcastle, for Man United, um, it's a good way win. It's a good way win. It's been their toughest game, I think, since Solskjaer has come in. I think it's been their toughest game, easily, I think. Uh, Newcastle threatened them a lot in the first half, especially. I think Newcastle, from their point of view, they could have done better in front of goal. I think the chances they had, they could have done better. Uh, so could United, to be fair, with some of their chances. But yeah, Newcastle, I felt they... They really could have like done something, especially in the first half, but they couldn't. But yeah, in terms of like the relegation battle, they obviously still need points. Um, I don't think this result should affect them too much. I think like it's obviously against a big six team, and I think if they're going to stay up, they're going to have to beat the teams around them, below them, and mid-table teams as well. I think if they can get some good points against those teams. I think they'll be fine and I think they'll probably be fine so this game doesn't really matter it, it, it still matters but it won't have a big implication it, it's too early to say anyway so we'll see but I think I think they'll be fine um, but yeah they certainly could have done better from a goal in this game that's for sure as for Man United as I said it's a good away win uh, their players played well um, and they got what they needed Lukaku came on super sub um, he came on and scored uh, took advantage of a goalkeeping error and then Alexis set up Rashford for the for the second goal and yeah, it's, it's a good win. It's a good win for them um, And they're like what three points behind us now, which is worrying um, to be fair though Chelsea have drawn nil nil so that that is a bit of a result for an us for an Arsenal point of view because we want to finish fourth well top four at least we want to finish in the top four and for the moment Man City, Liverpool and Tottenham will probably be the top three that's that's not in order, by the way. I think Liverpool are looking good at the moment, but we'll see what happens between those two teams. But I think Liverpool City, Tottenham, not in order, but I think that will be the top three. So fourth place might might be between Chelsea, Arsenal, and United. Might be a, might be a big battle between the three teams. Hopefully we can get it. But yeah, Chelsea drawn in Southampton, so that's that's a big plus for us because we can take advantage of that now. We can 
if we can beat West Ham on the 12th, that's the next league game, uh, hopefully we can do that. Hopefully we can beat West Ham. And then if we can beat Chelsea as well, because we got West Ham away next. No, we got Blackpool in the cup, but after that it's West Ham in the league, then Chelsea at home. If we can, if we can win both of those, that'd be massive. So hopefully we do. We'll see though. If, if we lose to West Ham or even draw, then that's a big problem again. So we can't let that happen. Hopefully we can beat West Ham, get momentum, and beat Chelsea as well. Hopefully, I think we play Chelsea just before the semi-final actually in the second leg. So it depends how the first leg goes in that as well. I don't know. We'll see. But hopefully we can overtake them by mid-January when we play them. Hopefully. Hopefully. Uh, we'll see what happens though. Um, but United are in it as well. They're in there. And I think they have a small chance. It's, it's, it's a small chance. But I think there's a chance there. Because they're not far off us. And we are not far off Chelsea. So it's going to be interesting. We'll see. Because we still got to play United as well. In like I think it's in April. I think we've got to play them. And I'm pretty sure United play Chelsea as well at Old Trafford. So, yeah. And obviously, we got to go to Wembley to play Tottenham. we got to go to the Etihad to play City. I mean, and, well, we played we play Liverpool now, to be fair. And we got to go to... Well, United got to go to, to, go to the Emirates as well. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. We'll, we'll see what happens, though. Because uh, you never know if Arsenal, I guess. <laughs> it's the same... Well, it's not the same on story, to be fair. Well, we're a bit better this season, but things are still going wrong for us. Hopefully, we can get more consistency back like we did between August and November. But anyway, um, yeah. Um, as for the rest of the games... Oh, by the way, Chelsea. Haven't seen the game, but I feel, I feel like if I watch the highlights, I'll just say the same thing. The same thing that I said the last two episodes. Chelsea need a striker. They do. Um... Apparently Sampton Park bus today, but still um, They need to be able to find ways to break that down because you can break break teams down to park the bus Yeah, you, you have to find a way to do it, but you can do it and uh, they didn't clearly they drew nil nil Sampton good win by the way good win Sorry, what a good win good point away away from moment seven brief Sampton very good win for them very good Why am I saying win good draw? It, it's a good point it's a good point for Southampton away from home at Chelsea. I think it's a really good point. It's a good thing for them that they held on. But yeah, Chelsea needs strikers. They need to they need to address it in January. Well, it is January now. They need to address it and get someone in. Who I don't know, but we'll, we'll see. Hopefully they don't though, because you know obviously we want to leapfrog them. But we'll see what happens. And apparently uh, Arsenal have um, Arsenal are going to sign Kilo Navas, which is interesting. I'll tell you my thoughts on that if we do actually sign him. So, there we go. But um, Chelsea signed Pulisic, but he's not coming until the summer. Um, they, they've they loaned him back to Dortmund. So that's interesting as well. You, you would think that they'd need him now. He's not a striker, obviously, but they, he would be useful now for them, wouldn't, they, wouldn't he? So, I, I don't know. I don't know, but Chelsea need a striker, that's for sure. Anyway, uh, there are more games to review. I just need to watch the highlights first. Not just, not just going to say random stuff without seeing it. So yeah, I'll see you in a few seconds. All right, so I just saw the rest of the games and matches of the day. I want to talk about the two draws first. The 3-3 between Bournemouth and Watford and the 2-2 between West Ham and Brighton. These are two, two thrilling games, two really good entertaining games. Awesome for the league in general. Like I love and I love high scoring games. To be fair though, defensively, both all four teams involved were just all over the place really, especially in the Watford game. Watford Bournemouth Watford game. It all happened in the first half. Watford went to the up, then it was two two, then they're three two up, then it was three three. Poor defending all rounds. All happened in the first half as well in that game. Absolute madness. A lot of fouls as well flying in, it was quite feisty. But yeah, it was a really good game. Like I really enjoyed it. And entertainment wise, it was really good. And the other game, the 2-2, uh, it was it was a great comeback from West Ham. They were 2-0 down. Um Brighton scored two goals in two minutes. Uh, really well done from them. And West Ham then scored two goals in two minutes of their own, like ten minutes later, uh, from Anatovic. So, so that was pretty cool. Mikel Arturnio down the wing. The ball almost went off, but by the reap it looked like it went off. But on the replay, it looked like part of the ball was still in, still in play. So that was pretty mad, like, it was fine margins. I would put it in the video, but the problem is Premier League, Premier League copyright is so strict. I don't want to risk anything. And I do monetize my stuff. If, like, if you don't monetize, you can actually put some stuff in. But I do monetize, so 
I don't. That's why I don't put like photos or footage in because you never know with copyright with Premier League because they're very strict with their stuff. Like I'm pretty sure my stuff will get taken down. But yeah, the way the ball was just like a small bit of it, like an inch of it, was still on the pitch. The rest of it was off. But Antonio just about it just about kept it on. VAR would have been nice to like check that. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure it stayed in, and uh, I think I think that's for the equaliser as well, actually. But yeah, Arnautovic uh, scored a couple goals uh, to come back. That was a good good little comeback from them, especially after the bad start to that second half. Um, yeah, in that game, all the goals came in the second half. So there we go. In both games, everything happened in in, a, in one half really. But yeah, um, as for these four teams though, uh, Watford, West Ham, Bournemouth, and Brighton, it doesn't do much for any of them. Really, I mean, they switched positions. Well, Bournemouth didn't, Brighton didn't, but West Ham and Watford they both went upwards. Um, but it doesn't really do much because all of them are clear relegation. Like, Brighton are 10 points clear of 18th, Bournemouth 11 points clear. Um, Watford, well, w Watford are 13 points clear, and West Ham are what? They're 12 points clear. And West Ham are 10th, Watford are 8th. So, yeah, it doesn't really do much. It doesn't really do much. They're both like around the same positions anyway. So, there we go. Entertaining games though. So, yeah, that was good. As for the other two games, um, Burnley beat Huddersfield 2-1 uh, away. A really good, good win for Burnley, especially considering they had 1-0 down as well. Huddersfield scored first. It was a big goal for them at the time because they're obviously struggling. They're in last place. They need all the points they can get. And they're just not getting them. And they did go on up, but then they bottled it. Uh, Burnley did really well, though, to come back from 1-0 down. And uh, that was very much needed because now they've escaped the relegation zone. They're on 18 now. They're two points clear of Southampton in 18th. So that's good. Southampton, though, they got a point at Chelsea. So that could do a lot for them. They're only two points behind Cardiff, Burnley and Newcastle. So all of those teams need to, uh, really need to get worried but yeah, I think this bottom six really. Um, actually, no, I think Newcastle might survive. Actually, I don't know about that. Palace are in 14 for 22 points. That's uh, six points ahead of Southampton. I think anyone below Palace could go down. Newcastle on 18, Burnley on 18, Cardiff on 18, Southampton on 16, Fulham on 14, Huddersfield on 10. Any of those six teams, any three of those six could go down. I'm pretty sure last week or the last episode, I can't remember. I said that. I said it was. I said it was Burnley, Cardiff, Southampton, Fulham, and Huddersfield, not Newcastle. I'm pretty sure I said. But I think Newcastle might be back. They're, well, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. What I'm saying is relegation battle. It's, it's looking. It's gonna. It's looking competitive. It's, it's gonna be good. I reckon. It's gonna be crazy to see how that pans out. It's the same thing for the title race as well. I think um, even if Liverpool win tomorrow, um, or today when this video goes up, but even if Liverpool win the game against City, I think that uh, City will still be in the title race uh, for sure. I don't think it'll be over just because... Um, what am I trying to say? I said, this in, I said this last week, I think. Man United in, 23rd, no, in 2012, sorry, Man United in 2012, in April, had an eight-point lead. They still lost the league on goal difference. So if eight points in April is not enough, you know, how can any lead in January mean it be enough? Unless it's like 15 points. You get what I mean? Um, so yeah, um, I'm kind of hoping City win though, just because like the tie race will be best up throughout the season. But I do think, regardless of how the game pans out, I think the tie race will be good between City and Liverpool. I think the top four race between. Uh, well, actually, wait, title race-wise, you never know if Tottenham are. I don't, I don't think they win the league, but if they win the next few games, you never know, I guess. Because Liverpool City play each other, obviously. And if Tottenham win their game, then they they, sh they get closer to them. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, the top four race as well is looking good. Chelsea, Arsenal, United. And the relegation battle is looking interesting too. So, um, if things go as the way they are going right now, then I think... The last couple of months will be very, very intense for a lot of teams. So I'm looking forward to that, actually. Apart from Arsenal, hopefully uh, we can... Because with Arsenal, I'll be nervous, obviously. So hopefully we can actually, like, make the top four. 
and win a trophy as well. I mean, I care more about the trophies to be fair, so hopefully a trophy is won. But top four would be nice, and I think even though we've not been good the past month, the fact we're only three points behind Chelsea and they're constantly dropping points, and United also struggling as well. Even though they're getting better recently, they had they've had a bad season so far. I think we've got a bit of a chance of getting in that fourth spot. We've got a chance of it. Um, we'll see what happens though, because there's Chelsea and United as well. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, how did I go from Burnley winning to? Chelsea be Man United. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, yeah. It's good. As I was saying, a good win for Burnley, really good win from behind. For Huddersfield is really obviously an awful result. Um, yeah, what are their next few fixtures? Let me just check Huddersfield's next few fixtures. I could put this on the video. I'll start doing it for the next episode. Next episode's uh, on the on the twelfth, I think. On the, on the, it'll be on the fourteenth or something. And the next episode, from that episode onwards. I'll add in the table on the screen and fixtures and stuff. I think that'll be better for the episode. Uh, but yeah, hold on a second. Let me just check Huddersfield fixtures. Um, they got Cardiff away next on the 12th. Massive, massive. It's going to be interesting, that one. Uh, Huddersfield, and then they got Mens. Wow, okay. They got Cardiff away next, which is already massive. But it's even bigger now, because after that, they got City... Everton, then Chelsea away, Arsenal, then Newcastle away. Good luck, Huddersfield, good luck. Uh, wait, who, who have Fulham got? Hold on a second. I'm going to check the whole, like, six teams. I'm going to check the whole six teams. Hold on. Uh, they've got Burnley away, then Tottenham, then Brighton, then Palace away. A bit kinder, to be fair. Then they got United, then West Ham away. Okay. Well, they got a nicer fixture list than uh, Huddersfield, that's for sure. These are just the next six games, I think. I don't know. I haven't been counting. Southampton got Leicester away, then Everton at home, then Palace at home, then Burnley away, then Cardiff at home. Those are two big games, Burnley and Cardiff for Southampton. That's going to be massive in January. And they got Palace as well. That's pretty big too. Then they got Arsenal away. They'll probably beat Arsenal next exams and they always get something against us. Usually they're St. Mary's, but still. Um, yeah, that's interesting. Uh, let me just check Cardiff, Burnley and Newcastle. Hold on a second. I really should put this on the screen, I'm sorry. I won't do it because I'm in a rush to edit this. Um, Cardiff have got, obviously, Huddersfield. Then Newcastle away. That's two big games for them. Um, then they got Arsenal away. Uh, then... They got Bournemouth, then Southampton away, then Watford. Okay, interesting. Huddersfield definitely got it tough though. They need to win the next game, I think, because I think I feel like they'll I feel like they'll lose those other five games I mentioned. I've a I'm feeling they will lose those games, but we'll see what happens. But I think it needs to be Cardiff. Uh, Burnley have got Fulham, Fulham at home, big game that. Uh, then Watford away, then Old Trafford, then Southampton at home, then Brighton away, then Tottenham. They got it tough as well. And let's check Newcastle. Sorry if this is boring you, but you know, this this is valid to a recap. You want to check the next few fixtures. I should probably like check that for more teams more often from next week. I think I should do that. Um, yeah, Newcastle have got Chelsea away next. Then Cardiff at home, then City at home, then Tottenham away, then Wolves away, then then Huddersfield. I feel like Huddersfield and Newcastle have it toughest out of those six teams for the next six games. And this is up to the end of February, so... Yeah, we'll see where they are by that point. It'll be more interesting by then because it'll be like three months away from the end of the season. I guess we'll see. I did mention Wolves, by the way. Oh, oh yeah, before. Let's stick with Burnley for a second. Uh, there were two red cards in it. The Huddersfield player and uh, the Burnley player. One red card each. Um, I'm not sure... Sh I'm, I'm meant to talk about the Burnley one. I'm not, sure if it, I'm not sure if it was a red. It was pretty dangerous, but it wasn't two-footed. It wasn't studs up. It wasn't really a leg breaker to me. At least it didn't look, look like it anyway from the replays. The player was clearly, clearly not injured, he just got up straight away. 
Um, that isn't always a factor to be fair, but still, I mean, it wasn't too fit, it wasn't studs up, it didn't seem that malicious, but it was still pretty bad. Not sure about it being a red though. I'm just saying the Burnley one. Huddersfield one, no complaints about that one. To be fair though, he didn't even know he was on the yellow. Like a, the, the player got a yellow, he didn't know because he had his back turned. Got another yellow and he was, got so confused when he got sent off. It was just quite funny. But there we go. Um, the Burnley one though, I'm not sure it was a red. I'm just, I'm just not sure. VAR fixes this, these things, you know. It doesn't, it doesn't fix these things, but it gives the referees assistance. We need that. We need it. Anyway, uh, the last game I'm going to talk about is Wolves v Crystal Palace. Palace won it 2-0 uh, uh, at Molyneux. Wolves are the most up and down team in the league, aren't they? They've won 8, they've lost 8. And they've drawn 5. Three of those draws against United City and, and Arsenal. And they beat Tottenham Way as well. <laughs> they, do, they have that record against the big teams and then they lose to Palace and other teams as well. It's just... I mean, they're still ninth. It's still good. They're, they're, they're not going to like go down. Like they're, they're, they're going to be fine. But it's just so crazy how they're so up and down. If they were as good against other teams as they were against the top six, they would do so much better. But they're not. They'd be closer to the top six, actually, if they did better in other games. But yeah, they've won eight and lost eight. That's just, that's just madness. Absolute madness. Um, wait, let, let me just check their results. <laughs> let, let me just check their results this season because I, I want to see, like, put it into perspective. Like, what, 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 they're, what they've been doing, right? Uh, hold on a second. Let's go back to August, all right? <laughs> I know, I know, I know. It's a long time ago. But, but here we go, right? They drew Man City, lost to Leicester, drew Everton. They beat Southampton, so there's, there's something at least. Um, what else did they do? They drew Man United Old Trafford. They beat Burnley and they beat West Ham. So at this point, they're doing well. Then we go into October, they lost to Brighton. They lost to Watford. Then they beat Palace away. It's very up and down so far. But notice that a lot of their results have been against the big teams at the moment. Uh, then they lost to Cardiff. Then they lost to Huddersfield. Then they drew with Arsenal. You, you lose those two games and you draw with Arsenal. That, that's an Arsenal thing to do. Like, not beat a team that's on bad form. That, that is so Arsenal. Then lost to Tottenham. So there's a big game they lost. Lost 3 2 to Tottenham. Um, and uh, wait, wait a second. Wait a second. What happened here? What? What happened in November? Sorry, I confused myself for a second. I looked at the wrong month. Actually, no, wait, what? It says 3rd of November, then 29th of December. What? I've been reading it in all, the wrong way. The, the earlier games are at the bottom. Okay, this is a bit awkward. But the point is, right, they've been... You know what I've been doing, right? For some reason I thought the games shown on the list were earliest first, then later on, later on. It's upside down for every month. And it's separate months as well for separate pages. Anyway, uh, as for the rest of the games, they beat Chelsea. They beat Chelsea and Newcastle and Bournemouth. They lost to Liverpool. They drew Fulham. Uh, and they beat Tottenham, which is rather mad. Now they lose to Palace. The point is, they're so unpredictable. You know, so, some games they lose to Palace, and who else they lose to? Another team in in the bottom six, and then they beat or draw the team in the top six. It's just it's just madness. For, as for Palace, though, speaking of Palace, it's a good win for them. Uh, one of their best away wins this season. Have they got that many? I don't know, but it's a really good away win for them. And uh, yeah, I think they'll definitely survive relegation, that's for sure. That win puts them um, six points clear, which is which is pretty good for them. I think they'll still continue to like get more points as well. And uh, yeah, um, not too bad. That's for the bottom six though. Newcastle, Burnley, Cardiff, Southampton, Fulham and Huddersfield. At the moment, I think they're battling it out for, um, to survive relegation. So 
we'll see what happens. This episode is gonna be long again. I think I should. I think that's that's a good thing though for these for these types of videos. I think longer videos actually help. But anyway, um, this is your boy David. Off, please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. These this episode is all over the place. To be honest, I gotta be better. I gotta be better from. Um, next episode onwards I, I gotta improve this thing gotta structure it better and also there's one game left Liverpool Man City I'm gonna do that as a separate video it'll be a separate video it'll be like a live reaction and my thoughts on it and um, you will see it the next day so uh, yeah that's why it's not in this video this was your boy Davidoff please like share subscribe I've said this already just just goodbye see ya